Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm super excited to share a project with you for Paper Tray Ink. And we're using some of the brand new May release items that I think you're gonna just fall in love with. We're gonna be using the Birdhouse Bliss stamp set. This stamp set does have a coordinating die option and we'll be using that to cut out our birdhouses and some flourishes in here. And then we'll also be creating a cloudy scene background. We're going to be using a brand new Elegant Edges die set. This is called the Fresh Cuts die set. One of my favorites because I love the length of these because they make great borders. And I love that they're all completely different um, in their unique shapes. So we're going to be using this on our card too. We're going to jump in and do a little bit of stamping. This is a layering stamp set. So with that, what I like to do is do my die cutting first, and then we can add this, um, our stamped images right over it. So let's grab some white cardstock, and we're gonna die cut out this beautiful branch to hang our birdhouse on. And I'm gonna be using this birdhouse. I love the shape of this, and I like that it also has um, a circle in the middle that'll die cut out a little door for our birdhouse. And then there's a couple flowers we'll die cut out. We're going to add a few little tassels to our birdhouse. We'll die cut these out as well. We'll scoot some of this down and then we're going to do multiple stamping. So not only am I going to die cut out this panel, I'll die cut out a few more elements for our card today. So I'll run this through my die cut machine and I will be right back. I die cut out my images and I'm going to keep the negative piece. We're going to place this in our stamping positioner. This just helps me line up my stamp on the inside. We're going to go ahead and first We'll take our branch and I will line it up on the inside here. And there's also the first layer of the flower. We will add this. I have all my stamps. We're going to go ahead and pick up those stamps with the lid of our stamping positioner and they should be perfectly aligned up here. Now I'm going to take the inside pieces and we'll go ahead and inlay these. For my birdhouse, I'm going to be using Classic Craft Ink and I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. And we'll stamp this. Wonderful. For our tree branch, we're going to ink up Honey Nut. Now some of these lifted up, but that's okay. I will replace those. Honey Nut for our tree branch. Wonderful. Berry Sorbet Flora Flowers. And for the tassel that has the heart, I'm going to use Spring Moss Ink for that. A light green will add a little bit of light green for that one. And for our last tassel, I'm going to use Raspberry Fizz. I'm going to clean off these stamps and then we're going to go ahead and add our second layer to all of these. 
for our next layer for our leaf we're going to bring in prairie grass and there's actually two images that we're going to ink up here and we'll stamp that wonderful and then for our birdhouse we have the second layer I'm going to go in with my honey nut for that layer and we will stamp that For our detail layer on our flowers, I'm going to bring in Raspberry Fizz. We'll stamp those flowers. For the heart on our tassel, I'm going to bring in my Berry Sorbet for that one. I have one more layer that I'm going to add to my birdhouse, and that's the birdhouse roof. That's this one here. And we'll just line this up. And the roof of the birdhouse, I'm going to go back over with my honey net also. So cute. Now we have a few extra detail layers that are smaller, so I put those on the acrylic block. Let me zoom in and show you. There's some wooden beads that go on our tassel here. I'm going to ink that up with my honey net. And I'm just going to use my acrylic block to stamp those wooden beads. Wonderful. And then we have the flower centers. I'm going to go with classic craft for those. And we'll just stamp the center here and along with this one. And there's a detail layer for the flowers too. I just love that. And I'm going to go in with my darker brown, which is honey nut. And I'll just stamp those dotted details on that flower as well. And I think I'm going to darken up this flower center. And those are our images. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process with some extra flowers and an extra leaf. And then we're going to do a little bit more die cutting. So my images are die cut. We're going to put these off to the side for now. And then we're going to create a background using our Elegant Edges Fresh Cuts. I love this one here that kind of looks like a cloudy look. And we're going to create two, two backgrounds that we can layer together. So one of them We'll go about midway on our on our panel. I'm using an A2 panel, so this is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then I will flip it around and create another one so we could layer both of these together. And then while we're die cutting, I'm also gonna bring in a die set. This is the embroidered frames hex die. And I'm going to create a frame with this one and I do want a little bit of dimension to my frame so I'll probably cut out three more of these that way we could stack them together so we'll run this through our die cut machine as well now I also have a piece of cardstock this is smoky shadow I wanted to put something behind my birdhouse to kind of make that little birdhouse door um, give it a little bit of dimension. So what I'm going to do is take the Smoky Shadow cardstock. I'm going to use the die set 
and I'm going to just cut out a birdhouse using the die with this. This way I can create a background for my birdhouse. So I have a little bit more die cutting to do, um, and I'll be right back. Now, I finished up with all of my die cutting. Now, I did keep the door or the window that's in the birdhouse, the, the circle that goes in here. What I want to do is layer it together. Um, actually, I'll pick it up, turn it, turn over my birdhouse. We'll inlay that window to make it one solid piece here. And then I'm going to add a piece of tape behind it to secure it. Now I'm doing this because I want a little bit of dimension to my birdhouse. And I'm going to flip over the birdhouse. We might as well do this right now. So I'll, bur I'll flip over my birdhouse. I'm going to add some small foam squares behind here. And I'll remove the release paper. And then we're just going to add our inked birdhouse right over our, our background. So we have a little bit of that shadow that gives it a little bit of dimension. Okay, and with these pieces, you'll notice I left um, the negative piece with this. I did this because it's going to be easier to ink blend. We could actually remove the outside edge. Okay, and I'm going to do a little bit of ink blending. The inks that I'm going to be using, I'm going to use lemon tart. My Hawaiian Shores is going to be for my cloud. We're going to create some cloudy background. But I do want a little bit of a gradient on my, my hex frame. So I'll use Lemon Tart and my blending brush here. I'm going to pick up some ink. And I'm leaving the inside, the negative piece on the inside. For me, it's just a little bit easier to keep the shape of my frame. And we'll just fade up. I think that's just what we need. About the halfway mark is where I'm going to stop at. And then I can just remove that middle piece. This is actually pretty. You could save that for another card if you wanted to. So this frame is done. And then I'm going to take my blending brush and go over the clouds. I'm going to add a little ink to the bottom area of the clouds. I do want some white areas. So we're going to go... We'll take a little bit of our Hawaiian Shores, and I'm going to go on the edge here. And then this is where the lemon tart comes in. I want to add a little bit of sunshine up in this corner. Kind of blend in that corner there and kind of fade out. And I think that looks like a little bit of sunshine in that corner. We're good to go. These two are going to layer together. We're going to go ahead and do that right now, just using my tape runner. We'll layer both of these together. And then I'll adhere this to my card base. My card base today is a standard A2 size card base. Wonderful. After we have this adhered, I'm going to take our frame and we're going to stack these together for a little added dimension. So there's four layers in total. And of course, if you don't want to stack them, you can always use foam tape behind it. But I'll stack them together like this. And I'm going to just use my tape runner. And I'm finishing up with my final layer. We'll just do a little stacking. And it makes it real sturdy too, which I like. Now eventually this is going to go here. I'm going to use my frame as a guide before I adhere it down. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment here in this open area. I'm using the paper tray ink floating by sentiments stamp set. 
I love the sentiment that says everything is fine when there is sunshine. So we'll use our true black ink and stamp this and this we'll make sure our frame's centered. And then I'm gonna stamp this in the open area here. I'm gonna flip over my leaf. My I'm gonna flip over my branches and I'm gonna add some thin foam tape behind it and we're gonna add that to our our card front. I think that's a good spot for those. And I did tuck those tassels underneath the birdhouse. See there. Now we have our flowers. I'm going to use some sm um, small foam squares and we're going to add some flowers to our branch, our branches. Now I'm going to use, uh, now we need a little bit of sparkle to finish off our card and to do that I'm going to be using my diamond stickles and I'm going to go over the heart that is on my tassel here and the beads, the wooden beads, will add a little bit of sparkle in the flower centers too. We have a little added sparkle now. And that finishes my card today for Paper Tray Ink. I thank you so much for joining me. Have a fantastic day, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.